Do you give gift cards during the holidays? I know I sure do. When we run out of time or we just don't have a great idea, we kind of resort to gift cards. And maybe there's a little bit of a stigma of how gift cards might be a little bit impersonal, but I'm gonna change your mind about that today. Hi, Christmas crew. My name is Shannon, and I wanna welcome you here to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. And what you're gonna love about all of these ideas is they are still very simple, quick and easy, and I hope they inspire you this holiday season. Now let's dash right into the first idea. We're gonna keep things even more budget friendly by getting a lot of supplies at Dollar Tree. I also love that a lot of the major department stores carry a slew of different gift cards so you can save yourself multiple trips by grabbing what you need from a single store. Now, what if you get a gift card that doesn't have a very Christmassy look to it? No problem, we're gonna make really inexpensive little pockets for our gift cards using some simple scrapbook paper. I found this pack at Hobby Lobby. It was 60% off, so for 50 sheets, it was only $4. I know, crazy, right? And you can actually get four pockets out of one sheet of paper, making them only two cents each. Such a bargain, but it gives you that very personalized touch. You can use a paper trimmer or scissors. I like the paper trimmer. We're gonna cut our piece of paper in half at five and a half inches first on the long side, flip it, cut it in half again at four and a quarter inches. And we have four pockets that we're gonna start making out of that one sheet. So we're gonna take our gift card, we're gonna set it in the center of the paper on the back side, fold over the first side about an inch, and then go ahead and wrap your gift card the rest of the way, folding in the right side. Open it back up, and then here's another little tip. I love these, they're tape runners. They're great if you do any kind of paper crafting. You can get them from the craft store, Walmart too. I'll link supplies down in the description box below to make it easy for you to find, because you can find these on Amazon as well. We're gonna run the adhesive along the left side and the bottom, and go ahead and fold up your pocket. Now we're gonna take a pair of scissors and cut out a half circle shape from the open end, not the end with the adhesive on it. That's gonna give us a nice place once we insert our gift card to easily grab onto it and remove it from the pocket. Look how cute this is, and it literally only takes a couple minutes to make each one. Once you make your first one, you will be whipping these out so quickly. It also helps to cut all your paper out at the same time, so you kind of have an assembly line going on. And then you can just insert all your gift cards, so cute, you can leave them like this, or you can embellish them too if you like, add a to and from, add some ribbon, but how quick and easy was that? Now these guys are so, so cute. You could even use them in your holiday decor and add them onto a garland. So I'm just using some regular clothespins I found from the craft store that are red that makes them even more decorative. Just clipping them onto some baker's twine and a garland that I handmade. And these are so cute. It's a fun way to display your gift cards rather than sticking them into your Christmas tree or putting them into or under your Christmas tree. They're clipped on and ready to give. You could add your gift cards to a Christmas card to give, which is so easy, but I really think taking the extra step to put them in some nice wrapping really makes this more thoughtful. And these packs of three cinch sacks at Dollar Tree are an easy and quick way to do that. They look really nice. They come in a pack of three, so they're less than 50 cents each. And you just stick your gift card in there. They fit perfectly, ready to give. These are the cutest little plastic snow globes at Dollar Tree. You actually can really put water and glitter and things in there if you wanted to craft with them, but we're gonna turn ours into a fun way to give a gift card. So we're gonna take the top off, or the bottom, I should say, off of our snow globe and add in some faux snow, which is also from Dollar Tree. We're gonna shake that into the clear part and then we are gonna set that aside. Take your gift card, add a little bit of hot glue onto the side edge, and we're gonna insert that into the lid. Now be careful not to get hot glue onto the part that needs to be slid with the magnetic strip on the back. You don't wanna damage the gift card, so just a little dab will do you until it stands up. Twist that top on there, shake your faux snow down, and you have the cutest little gift card that you can give now. You can also dress it up with a little bit of ribbon. This is ribbon from Dollar tree as well like i said we're keeping this budget friendly a little bit of hot glue puts that on there dresses it up a little bit how fun is that i think i would love to get a krispy cream gift card they are so yummy but you guys let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite gift card to receive for the holidays 
Now these are so cute. I couldn't pass it up. They're from the Target Dollar Spot and they are glass containers that you just twist the end off of. And I thought this would be such a fun container to put a gift card into. Now, if you can't find these at the Target Dollar Spot, grab one of these cloches from Dollar Tree. You kind of get the same type of concept with those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these fairy lights also from Dollar Tree, add some batteries in there. And I love these because they're multicolored, look just like Christmas lights. And we're gonna tuck those lights into our container container. They are on wires, so it's kind of nice because you can kind of mold and place your lights where you want them throughout the glass and then kind of crimp the bottom off to the side so we'll be able to add the lid back on there. Then we're going to take a gift card. Now they don't fit perfectly up inside there, but luckily the gift cards bend a little bit so you can kind of shimmy them up inside, put the lid back onto the bottom, twist it on, easy simple no mess done and once they get the gift card out of there they also have a nice little christmas night light to keep too let's keep with the lights theme i had never found these at dollar tree before this is the first year i've seen them hanging silhouette snowflake lights had to get them i thought that would be so cute to add a gift card to and make a really simple gift. So these come with a little battery pack. You add three AAA batteries in there, and then there's several different ways you can actually hang these. But how pretty is it by itself? Makes a nice gift once they take the gift card off. We're gonna take some foam mounting tape, also from Dollar Tree. We're gonna stick one of those right in the center of our snowflake. It's a double-sided tape type situation where you take the paper backing off, and then you just press Press your gift card down onto the tape and it kind of creates a nice gift idea. You can hang it from a Christmas tree. It has a suction cup on the back so you can hang these from a window. And then you also could even hang them from the hook at the top hang them from a wall. I just love this idea. Lights just give you that cozy Christmas feeling. These are really cute wooden houses with chalkboard labels on the front. And this would be a great gift for somebody like a homeowner or somebody who loves to work on their home or create home decor. You can use a chalk marker and write in their name or their house number or established year and then add a little piece of that foam mounting tape and attach your gift card underneath. Again, so quick and easy. And then they also have the nice little house to keep once they remove the gift card. Now let's keep with that same theme. Dollar Tree also has these beautiful wood cutouts that kind of make a 3D scene. I grabbed this one because it had the little house on it. So it kind of goes with the hardware store type gift card theme. It comes with this base that has three little spaces routed out in it. You just stick your wood pieces down into it. No glue needed. I'm saving the center one for the gift card. Sit it right down in the center and then you can put the house and the Christmas tree in the front little space. Look how quick that is and makes it so nice, pretty, and you can set it on a table next to your Christmas tree, put it under your Christmas tree, put it in a gift bag so you can give it even that way. So many different ways to kind of use this, but what a sweet way to give a gift card. I love this idea too. I still love the red trucks. So this is great for anybody, but especially maybe somebody who loves old antiques or loves old trucks or loves automotives in general. You can take these metal trucks from Dollar Tree, use some of that foam tape, add it to your gift cards. One would be cute in here, but if you want to stuff several in there, you could do that too. Leave the hanger on there. It literally takes just one minute to do this, but adds that wow factor actor, which I love. Now, what if you have a restaurant gift card to give? I love this idea too. This is a chalkboard from Dollar Tree. I added a vinyl decal onto the front that says menu, but if you don't have a vinyl machine, a chalk marker would work just as great for this. I'll link these down in the description box below to make it easy for you to find. We're also gonna take some of that foam mounting tape, double-sided tape, our gift card onto the front. I would also suggest pairing this with some regular chalk so they can use this as a menu board or one of those chalk markers to make a useful gift and also one that they will thank you for once they're at the restaurant enjoying their meal. We're gonna grab one of these cute Christmas mugs from Dollar Tree. I found this pack of five cute gift cards for Starbucks. 
at Walmart and grab those. I thought this would make the cutest little tree, gift tree, mug tree for these gift cards. Grab some bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree, stuck three of them into the styrofoam, also from Dollar Tree. We're gonna trim down the skewers, use the other two to stick in the front. And then again, with our foam mounting tape, we're gonna attach each one of those mugs onto those sticks. I love the foam mounting tape because it comes off of the back of your gift cards easily, doesn't damage them, but it's gonna hold pretty good to whatever you're gonna stick them to as well. So just added kind of a tiered effect with the gift cards. This is decorative basket filler, also from Dollar Tree. We're gonna cover up the styrofoam with that, just tuck it into the mug. So not only do they get a cute mug to keep, they also have lots of coffee they can enjoy from Starbucks. I had this wreath that I made in a previous video using an Ikea dollar wreath, a Dollar Tree solar light with a bow on the front, and it was laying around and I thought, I'm just gonna stick some of these gift cards on there. It looks really cute and it's so quick and easy too. If you wanna see that DIY, I'll link that video up in the iCards, but any wreath you could clip these onto or I used the foam mounting tape on that wreath, but here's another look at a different wreath. If you wanna give a beautiful wreath and just kind of decorate it out with some random gift cards, using those clothes pins on there doesn't hurt the wreath, so they can use the wreath and they get lots of fun gift cards too. And now we're gonna transition over to Build-A-Bear. Did you know they come in the cutest little miniature size boxes, just like the ones you take your bears home in? I thought this was a cute, simple idea. Take your gift card and your gift card holder obviously put your gift card in there, but add some crayons in there too. I think it'd be cute for a little one to receive this and then they can color their gift card holder. Now I didn't know this and I thought I would throw this in there as well. Did you know that you can purchase a unfilled build bear? This is not sponsored at all. I just love this idea. You can build buy the bear give it to your recipient with a gift card and let them go back and fill it and pick out some accessories. Just an idea if you're needing one. Even my teenagers love this. Now I've done this before. This is a very silly and fun way to give a gift card. Buy some fluffy yarn. You can find yarn at Dollar Tree, but it doesn't have the bulk like this. So head to Walmart or the craft store, tie the yarn onto your gift card and then wrap it and wrap it and wrap it like crazy. Pretty much just burying your gift card inside a yarn ball. Once you get to the end, you don't wanna tie it up. Just kind of tuck the tail underneath and leave it hanging out so they know where the end is. Then I had these cute little mini ornaments from Walmart and I grabbed one of those. I thought it would make a cute little addition to the top of this, but also wrote unwrap me on it. So they knew what to do once they received it. Cause it's kind of weird just to get a random yarn ball, right? So now they at least have some instructions. Put the end of the tail next to the tag and you have something that is cute, fun, kind of silly, but so easy too. Containers are one thing I buy all the time from Dollar Tree. They have some really great ones. They've always had small ones like this, and now they have this larger size, which I am loving. You're gonna need one of those containers or something pretty big. Also a toilet paper tube. We're gonna tuck that down into our jar and fill it with some candy around the toilet paper tube. We're basically making a hidden gift card space where you'll stick your gift card down into the toilet paper roll. Now I did need to head inside. I ran out of M&Ms. That's how big these jars are. And I found some Hershey Kisses, kind of covered up the gift card to conceal it, put the lid back on. And this is a fun way where they might just think they're getting candy, but once they get into the jar, they find that gift card and get an extra surprise. As I said before, even just a nice gift bag to give your gift cards in really ups the thoughtful factor. And this is a fun one that I think kids can do or great for a teacher where you just glue on some big wiggly eyes onto the bag, a big red pom-pom and two candy canes for our reindeer ears. Wrap your gift card in some tissue paper, tuck it down into the card. So they actually will get two treats of the candy canes along with their gift card. Doesn't take very long at all, but definitely has that thoughtful factor. You can get these brown gift bags at Dollar Tree, three for $1.25, so less than 50 cents each, great bargain. 
Now that we're also talking about candy canes, let's make a candy cane ornament. Take some hot glue, add a little dot to two points on here to create a heart shape. We're gonna push those together, let that cool off, add a couple pieces of that foam mounting tape, add your gift card onto the front, some cording off to the side to make a ornament. Cute way to add this onto a stocking hook, add it as an ornament on your Christmas tree, add it to a gift bag, so, so cute. It's also a really sweet idea to, when you pick up a gift card from a store, also grab something small that's also from the store that goes with it. So something that's affordable, but super cute too. So this is a lush gift card, but you could do this from Bath & Body Works. You could do this from Walmart and pick out, you know, a bath care item or any store and just pick out something small that also goes along with the theme of the gift card. This is a Dollar Tree clear cello bag that I added some ruffly stuff in there with. Yep, you can even hole punch your gift cards to turn them into gift tags and just tie it onto your bag with some Christmas ribbon. Sweet way to give a gift card, but it is so quick and easy and you get that little extra special touch with the bath care item. And as I said before, you can use a hole punch and punch a hole into your gift cards. Just make sure you don't punch through anything important on the back that would make them unusable. Tie them on with some string or a ribbon onto your gifts and adds an extra special touch. Let me know which one of these ideas was your favorite down in the comments below. I'll have more Christmas videos popping up on your screen. You can click over and watch next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy holidays.